Hi Nikhil, how are you? Uh, hi sir, I'm good. How are you? I'm good too. Thank you for asking. Can you tell us something about yourself? Uh, yeah, my name is Nikhil Patil. Basically, I'm from Maharashtra, Pune. And I had completed my graduation from North Maharashtra University in a chemistry field. So I'm from non-IT field. But after completed my graduation, my interest got changed into the technical field more. So that's why I joined the course from Seed Infotech for a software and automation testing. And where I learn a lot much things about a manual and automation testing, sir. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So why do you want to make your career in software testing? Uh, actually, from a childhood, I would like to test the software or gaming products. Uh, I like to explore them and I also like to find some bugs from them. So that's why I like to, I should choose my career from a software testing field. Mm -hmm. Okay. So have you found any defects in the applications or in the websites? So you can share those. Uh, yeah. I found some defects in a gaming applications. Like uh, basically lots more games applications are about cricket. And one time I just found the effect that baller has to go on for balling. Mm -hmm. But there was no batsman is present in that. Uh, I don't get a name of the game in the recording now. Mm -hmm. So, at, or many things I found in that. Okay, okay. So you have found defects in the gaming applications. Gaming okay. applications more. Okay, great. So, can you tell me a defect with a low priority and high severity? Any example of a defect with low priority and a high severity? Low priority. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, let's take uh, any banking domain. If there was a spelling mistake in that domain, so it was not a priority high because it's not defect a functionality of software, but it defect means it affect the customers or client requirements. So that's why the severity of defect is high. So this is one example of low priority and high severity. Okay, so you mean to say the functionality is not impacting client? Uh, yeah, functionality not defect means affect, functionality is not affect of a software, but because of a title change, the client will be affected. So that's why it is a Example of a high severity and low priority. Title of the application or the page? What exactly is the title mean? Uh, search page. Let's take search. a search page. If a search page title is gone wrong, so, mm -hmm. and everybody will see this, but it's not affect the functionality anything. Means a uh, user comes and search anything. So it will directly go through that page, but it will not affect the functionality, but client will affect on this. So that's why it is an example. Okay, let me share my screen. Uh, okay, now this is a search page, right? This, right. this is a search uh, functionality, right? But instead right. of search everything over here or this watermark or search something button over here, search button, you right. need some payment button over here. So this, this is a high severity, low priority. This is what you mean, right? Right, right. right. But, but this will be a high severity, high priority issue because every customer, every end user will be seeing this thing, right? They will be getting confused whether they have to click on that particular thing as a payment button or as a search button. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. So any, any example of a defect with... Uh, High severity and low priority. Uh, let's take a thing. If uh, can you take a title of a page? If mm -hmm. spelling mistake in title of page, so that will I think a uh, example of high severity and low priority. Title of the page. So this this Walmart you are telling. Yes. So if it gets changed, so it will be a high severity, low priority. Just a simple spelling mistake. Mm. Not all title will change. Mm. So then it will be a high priority, but low severity. Priority will be high because branding is getting impacted. Instead of Walmart, 
if I do DMAT, the branding is getting impacted, right? Right, right. Uh, so the severity of this the severity of this defect is low, but priority is high. Right, sir. Okay, so it's a request to the people who are watching this video to put down in the comment section of this video the example of a defect with high severity and low priority. Okay, now are you able to see my screen, right? This Walmart.com. Yes, Can you sir. Tell me high level test scenarios for this website. Uh, yeah, we should uh, search any product and see that it will come or some other product will come. We should go to the add to cart that it will be able to add it or not. Or we should also do the payment method is being doing rightly or not means payment will be success or not. Or we should do the search button cases that it is properly working or not, etc. Okay, what else? Uh, or we should do the What else, Nikhil? Or we should do the deals product. If we click on this, it will give us a on right page or not. We do the every option that if we click on that button, so it will pick up on us and a right page. Or we should cancel the product if we means order anything and we want don't want it so we we cancel so refundable amount will be again created in our account or not that's all that's all okay so when this uh, kind of question is asked to you in a real time interview so you can cover more and more test scenarios for example this you can you will verify the walmart logo and the spelling is displayed properly you will verify the search is working. What happens if you enter trending option or some product? Or what if what happens if you enter electronic item? Then is the display it, are the electronic items being displayed? Right. Then you can also verify what happens when you enter multiple products. What happens when you enter the product with a spelling mistake? What happens when you don't enter anything? What happens when you enter white space? Right. Then, right. then you can also verify these kind of links, Easter deals, grocery and essentials. Are you being navigated to a proper page? You will verify uh, yeah. the signing is working. You will verify your add to cart items are working. Yeah. You will verify the images are being displayed properly. You will verify this video is being played properly. Right. You will verify the shop now button link is working. You will verify the, uh, if you have, if you are using this website from the mobile and if you have turned on your location, then then the city in which you are from, this, those zip codes will be displayed, right? Then you will verify if the colors are being getting changed accordingly, right? right, right. Then, then you can verify the, the options that are being displayed properly. You can verify the amount along if you have any coupon code then then you can verify those coupon codes are working properly if the coupon code is expired then it should not work right so these all things you can verify so many things are there you can open this particular website in mobile you can open this particular website in tablet and then you can verify the things are working fine you can verify the copyright option right 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 so these are all the options that you can test okay so this was about the testing website okay now what is encapsulation encapsulation mm -hmm. uh, encapsulation is a uh, 
sorry sir i don't know okay so encapsulation is one of the uh oops pillar in java so there are four concepts of hoops one is polymorphism one is polymorphism. Inheritance, inheritance abstraction and encapsulation right? Right, right right so that is encapsulation now encapsulation is a mechanism in which you will bind your variables that is your data and methods together as a single unit okay right. so the data is hidden from the outer world right so that is encapsulation Okay. What is constructor overloading in Java? Constructor overloading is a method, sir, in which we in which we give the parental headline. Parental headline means Hello. 